Hello, I'm John Underwood, Technical Evangelist at 3 Will, and in this installment of the Jive Connects for Microsoft SharePoint series, we'll have a look at the Migrate to SharePoint feature. So let's take the following scenario. Let's say that you work in a department in your company that heavily uses Jive. You've been using it for quite a while and you're used to using that. So it may be that when you begin to author a document, you'll want to begin the process in Jive. So for this example, we're going to pretend that we work in an art department. The art department is going to create some sort of content that it will then push out to the company. So I'll begin by browsing to the space that I want to work in. And I'll use the Acme Global Space. Then I'll start the process by uploading a file, and we'll say that I've been working on this file on my hard drive, and now I'm going to add it to Jive. So you can see I've provided a description for this document, and I've also provided a couple of tags. And then once I'm satisfied with the input, I'll go ahead and publish. And now you can see that the document is successfully uploaded and rendered. Now, at this point, I could do all of the normal things that I would do on a document in Jive. I could edit the document, I could version, I could comment, annotate, rate, all of these different kinds of things. Now, let's say that I've done all of that, and this document has reached a level of maturity where I now wish to take it and push it out to SharePoint so that others can use it. Now, the way that I'm going to do that is through the Migrate to SharePoint link that you see on the screen. Now, a couple of things to think about. Um, number one, what's going to happen to this document going forward? Well, as the name implies with a Migrate, we're going to move the document over to SharePoint. So, once that move is complete, SharePoint will quote unquote own the document and any changes that we make will have to be made in SharePoint. And then the second question is what becomes of this document inside of Jive? Well, the answer to that is going to be obvious as I go through the demo, but the way you'll understand it now is that when I go to migrate this, I can only migrate it to a library that's participating in socialization. And as you'll recall from an earlier video, when I put a document in a socialized library, a visual representation of that document flows back into Jive. So for all practical purposes, once I've taken this mood going forward, Forward, the document will be read-only, viewable in Jive, and can also support annotations and comments. The actual document will live in SharePoint, and any future changes would have to be made there. So let's go through the process. I'll click on the Migrate to SharePoint link. For our example, the Shared Documents library in the top-level Acme Corp site will do just fine. So it's already selected. I'll click Publish and then I'll get a message indicating that it has succeeded. Now let's switch back to SharePoint and see if the document is there. So I'll navigate to the Shared Documents library, and you can see that my art department template is now here and available. And not only that, notice the green icon indicating that it has been socialized. So now if we go back to Jive, and then we navigate once again to the place where we originally had stored this document. And then look at recent content. You'll see Art Department Template now appears here. And if I click on the link for that, we see all of the visual cues indicating that it's now housed in SharePoint. You'll notice the information at the top. You'll also notice that the Edit action is no longer available. And then down at the bottom, we see the familiar links that allow us to navigate either to the library or the actual document in SharePoint. So as you think about the migrate to SharePoint capability, remember that it's going to fit best in a business scenario where we wish to create the document first in Jive, have the document live there until it reaches some state of maturity, and then migrate the document over to SharePoint where SharePoint then becomes the system of record.